I went from B-Cop to combat pilot in three years, becoming the Marine Corps' first black female pilot. After serving two tours in Iraq, I became America's first African-American female combat pilot. When we were supporting the men and women on the ground during my deployments in Iraq, before we could release our weapons and take out the target, the ground controller would say, you have permission to engage, cleared hot. Well, here at home, there are no ground controllers in life. You are your ground controller. If you don't give yourself permission to engage, who will? And when I look back on my life, that's been part of the secret sauce. The other part is the risk, taking risks. I like to call them the gutsy move because it's a little more than just risk, right? But in your gut, you know it's right. It takes guts to do it, but you gotta take action. It's not a gutsy thought, it's a gutsy move. It took me several tries to pass the flight test. It took me four years to get accepted to officer candidate school with the Marine Corps. Uh, becoming a pilot was absolutely amazing, but I had some ups and downs there. You know, and people ask me about sexism, discrimination, racism. You know, after a while of people asking me that, I, can't, I coined my phrase, acknowledge the obstacles, don't give them power. Keep your eye on the why. I had to keep my focus on why I was there, period, end of story. I mean, if there was some tension between me and some of the other Marines, or I said hey to Joe in the morning and he didn't say hello back and I felt that familiar tension. I mean, I could take my focus off and try to think, well, why this, why that? When the real reason is there could have been any number of reasons there was tension because I have short hair, because I smile in the morning, because I ride a motorcycle, because I could bench press more than him, or because I was black, gay, or a woman. But the bottom line is the moment I took my focus off of why I was there, lives were at stake. All because Joe didn't say hello. I had an amazing tour as a Marine. Ended up working as a diversity officer liaison to the Pentagon. I ended up going to quite a few conferences over that time frame, and I saw these people speaking on stage and I said, whoa, that's, I've been doing that for free. You mean you get paid for that? New dream was born. I turned in my resignation papers to resign my commission as a captain in the Marine Corps, leader of Marines. It was approved in a month. June 1st was my last day as a Marine before I went on terminal leave. And I caught my, my flight to my very first gig. Had six lined up for that month. Next thing I knew, I was four months out and a month behind in the house note. There was an event coming up. Actually, the event the previous year that I'd made the decision to get out of the Marine Corps. I didn't have any money to buy a ticket. It was Tuesday. The event started on Friday. I was talking to a buddy of mine. He said, well, if you go, you got to drive, right? I said, yeah. He said, well, a friend of mine is having a fundraiser for Barack Obama in the Raleigh-Durham area. That's your halfway point. If you drive down because you said you got to drive, you can come to the fundraiser, get your picture that you just took a month ago, spend the night and go down the next day. And in my, in my mind, I'm thinking, number one, I'm a month behind in the house note. I don't have any money to drive down there. I mean, I, I drove a Dodge Ram crew cab, four by four, dual exhaust. That thing drank a lot of gas. And where was I gonna stay? Registration for the conference? What was I going to eat? There were a lot of obstacles and challenges there in front of me, right? But in my gut, I knew it was right and it was going to take guts to do it. So I pulled the trigger, I took action, drove down, got my picture signed, spent the night, went to the conference the next day, and I am standing there in my business suit, knowing I don't have a registration for the conference, don't have, I planned on sleeping in my truck that night and had to figure out something to eat. When a conference organizer from the year before recognized me and walked up, he said, Bernice, we didn't know you were coming. I'm thinking, neither did I, right? He said, hey, we had a facilitator fall out. Do you mind filling in? And don't worry, we got your conference registration and your hotel. Folks, registration, and not only just an attendee, as a speaker, hotel, and it was one of the conferences where they fed you. Within 30 days, I had checks in my business checking account from companies like Boeing and Bank of America. Within 12 months of stepping out of my Marine Corps career, my company had broken six figures and had broken seven 
figures and four. The gutsy move. In your gut, you know it's right. It takes guts to do it, but you got to take action. Were there challenges and obstacles? Absolutely. Acknowledge the obstacles. Don't give them power. Breakthrough mentality. Simply put, refusing to settle, even in the smallest of moments, and demanding a breakthrough life. Demanding a breakthrough relationship with your kids, career, whatever it is. But the key is refusing to settle, even in the smallest of moments. Folks, what's your purpose on the planet? What's your why? Where are you trying to get to? Don't take your focus off the goal, off the mission, and your, your dream, your purpose evolves. Right? Are you willing to do what it takes to accomplish the goal? If you don't have a shovel, a spoon, a backhoe, are you willing to dig the ditch with your fingernails? The gutsy move. In your gut, you know it's right. It takes guts to do it, but you got to take action. Folks, stay gutsy.